I just wanted to do one final ESX tutorial inspired by the last American Association of Adonis meeting that I attended at, the, at Washington DC. The talk of the, uh, of the meeting was basically the, 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 the new file systems that have been released as well as some of the new technology using the uh, ultrasonics and the ultrasonic energy. Now, as many of you know, I'm a big fan of ultrasonics. There have been several uh, continuing education programs that are on the Rewild Endo uh, website that you can check out on the use of ultrasonics and endodontics. But in this particular uh, uh, case, uh, I just wanted to kind of tell you that the use of ultrasonics as a final finishing uh, device in your instrumentation has been around for quite a while. In fact, what I usually do in many of my cases, and, and it is the protocol that we will be advocating for the use of uh, ESX, uh, is that after your last finishing file, whether it's a size 25, 35, 45, or a 55, once the ESX file reaches the apex and you're ready for obturation, we would recommend that you actually use ultrasonics in the canal for about 30 seconds to a minute prior to um, to obturation. And the protocol that I would prefer is that to use either one of the two tips that are available with the Forza V3 unit with Brassler or you may want